government business. Further statements on indulgence, ABC helicopter crash. Are there any statements? Yes, thank you. Member yeah, for Mr. Wright. Chair. Paul Lockyer, just 11 days before the horrific crash, Paul visited the, the township of Grantham where he was doing a follow-up story. And I believe uh, yeah, 11 days beforehand was the last interview that I had done with him. And I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm just to check the records, I'm sure that that was the last interview that, that Paul did. And it was on the follow-up story of the Grantham, the Grantham disaster. With the short amount of time that I had to know the man, he was a kind bloke. He showed empathy not only, and compassion not only for the Grantham area by being the first person on the ground when the floods hit, uh, but he boasted he boast in the area, jovially, uh, his surname being Lockyer, that he belonged to that valley and he, was, he owned it. Um, he, had a, he had a sense of making people feel comfortable around him and as a new member I can, only, I can only suggest that in the presence of journalists one's always on edge and cautious about what one says. Uh, however with Lockie he had an in ineptability to, to make you feel at home and comfortable. Lockie was born on a farm near uh, Corrigan about 300 kil kilometres away from Perth uh, in Western Australia. Uh, he was award -winning. His award winning career spanned more than 40 years. Lockie had done everything from working in foreign affairs and political correspondence to covering the Sydney Olympics. He first joined ABC Perth office on a four-year cadetship in 1969, then he quickly rose up the chain, moving to Sydney and then to Canberra in 1976. Three years later, Lockie was made ABC's South East Asia's correspondent and was one of the first to undercover the full extent of the Khmer Rouge uh, atrocities in Cambodia. After a stint in Washington, Locker returned to Australia to join the Nine Network in 1988. Uh, he reported on droughts in eastern Australia in 1994 and a current affair was credited for, inspiring, for the inspiring farmhand appeal. Uh, he returned to the ABC for a decade later where, he co where the, his coverage of the, uh, the Sydney Olympics earned him a Logie Award and the most outstanding, outstanding TV news reporter. In 2005, Lockie was presented uh, for the ABC News in what he was the presenter for the ABC News in Western Australia. Recently in this house a, uh, a member from the other side made a fitting comment to a, another journalist that had passed, the member for Banks, and he, and he said, I've been in this place for almost 21 years and in that time I've interacted with many journalists past and present. I can honestly say that, uh, I can honestly say to you that the number of, the num I can count on my hand the number of journalists that I would be prepared to speak about in a condolence motion. Rob Chalmers is one of them. I found him to be a good person, I found him to be a decent person, and I found him to be a very ethical person, and I liked him. That were the words of uh, Daryl Mellon, the member for Banks. Well, I liked Paul Lockyer. My condolences to his family. Uh, to the other guys, Gary Ticehurst and cameraman John Bean, I did not know those gentlemen. My sympathies and condolences to their families and to the loved ones that they leave behind. Um, having lost a father earlier on the year, it is a tough gig losing a loved one. Um, to the pain that, that you leave behind in the workforce with the ABC family, um, my thoughts go to them and I know that they'll find strength and, and comfort in each other's company. Um, again, my total condolences to those loved ones that Lockie left behind. Thank you, Madam.